Let's see if Twitch helps us here. And there's a big red thing that yes. says live. So. Yes, we are. We are live now. We made it. We made it, everyone. <laughs> nice, nice, incredible, fantastic, groundbreaking, all of that. Um, so welcome, everyone, um, to this, uh, you know, eventful day, which Tears of the Kingdom just came out. But we are, you know, we are fearless, so we're going to stream anyways. Um, welcome back to Hi David, um, to our Total War series. I am streaming from the center of the sun, which in this case is Boston at 30 degrees Celsius. It's re way too hot for me to be coherent in any way. Um, and welcome to our guests, returning guests, all of them. Um, Eduardo, who will be uh, showing us, you know, his, his prowess in Rome to Total War. And welcome back to Dr. Daniele Salvoldi. Um, coming to us from, I believe, Italy right now. You're always around, man. No, no, I'm in Cairo. I'm back to oh, Cairo. You're in Cairo. Okay, you're back in Cairo. Okay, that's good. So 37 it's, degrees today. 37 degrees. That's great. This is a, this is now the the weather service. Um, if you want to know how hot is it around the world, this is this is how we go. This is how we go with it. Um, and uh, today we will continue with uh, the ancient Total War series. Um, and we will be playing the next chapter, which is Rome Two. Um, which I admit I've never played. Um, I own it somehow. I obtained it. Um, I never played it. Um, and I, so I'm completely like, I don't know what I'm getting into. Um, so, uh, have you both played this game? Have you both, um, had to deal with it? I remember seeing the trailer, the cinematic trailers, and then be like, too much drama. I'm not, I'm not going to play this. I wasn't, it wasn't the moment for that for me. <laughs> I wasn't in the mood for too much for that much drama at the time. <laughs> no, I played it, even though I, I, I think if I well, that back in the days it wasn't on Steam, but uh, uh, Rome to, uh, Total War One, I definitely spent more hours on the first one. It was so mm -hmm. amazing when it came out. It was like, yeah, oh, so come this one, yeah, it it's good. Uh, <laughs> It's it, it works. It's good. Yeah? I mean, it's interesting. It's so varied. It's so rich of things, and uh, and I like the flags and the symbols of the factions. Um, and it's much bigger. Okay. So. Yes, yeah. that is that is true. Obviously, um, they actually yeah. got background. Yeah, they actually got background. So, um, which factions do we have? I see Carthage because I see the the symbol of Tanit. Uh, she's she's unmistakable. Yeah. I see a Roman eagle, as as one yes. does. Yeah, oh, oh wow! You see, there are cultures, and then there are factions within each culture. Yeah. Oh, so oh, so like oh, that's where play... they got that from Attila. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's like so when the Romans so in the first like what... game you had uh, the Brutii, the uh, the, mm -hmm. the Julii, and Corneli. Whatever. Here yeah. you have uh, either families or uh, sub factions, sort of. Ooh, ooh, and di divided into cultures, which is a big charged word. <laughs> yes, and yeah. also note that they give them different traits for, so for example, the Julia, the House of Julia, Romanization, cultural conversion, and they also, ooh. of course, hate the barbarians. So they oh, yikes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, so you, hate, so you hate the Gauls, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, basically. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and that and happened the in the first one also because of the positioning that yeah. you would naturally be the enemy of the Gaul because they'd start you up in, in northern Italy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. and then what else? I mean, we got the Carthaginians. I see the Carthaginians. Yeah. And then, oh, you can choose the dynasties in Carthage. Oh, this is so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And then they get different bonuses at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. the, naturally, the bar, the bar kids, loyal troops and pioneers, so they get movement range for their armies. Mm -hmm. And then, and the, oh, the succession kingdom. So we we finally have Egypt. Finally, Egypt is just Egypt. Yeah, Egypt is just it's it's nothing else. It's just Egypt. Yeah. And but they get Ptolemaic enlightenment, so they get twenty percent for their research rate. So they're really good at being nerds. Okay, so we get do we get a lighthouse? Library. Do we get a museum? Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. Right. Yeah. We get we get all of that. Oh, that's that's really cool. And um, Bactria. Bactria. This yeah, is, this buddy. Is, this is our first. I've never seen Bactria in games before. They weren't even on the map oh, really? <laughs> in the first one. And they were. No, you were have the all the map. Uh, you have all the map stretching to, to the industry. Mm -hmm. You've got all sort of tiny, tiny post uh, uh, 
party and whatever post uh, no, post uh, not party no. Macedonian wars. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Stagnant yeah. Empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. And, I see some note, Greeks. The, the Greeks are not monolithic anymore. They have Great. their own. We yeah. got several Greeks. Like we got Massalia, which is incredible yeah. to me. Uh, we got Sparta, mm. of course, with the yellow of like a diamond because because necessary. We got Athens. Who's who's the third one? Who the fuck? Epirus. Epirus. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh my god. That yeah, makes yeah. that makes sense. And then nomadic tribes of Perosalani. Mm. <laughs> And Rose Scythians. Okay, so we got the Scythians too. Incredible. Yeah. I love that. Oh, and then we got the Parthians. I see. The, I see the Armenians. The Eastern, yeah. Eastern Empire. The Easterners, Eastern right? Eastern Empire. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Note that they God. have secret police, as one of their Eastern <laughs> cultures have secret because police. Because clearly only because Eastern empires have secret despotic, police. Right? Yes, because despotic things are only in the yeah, East. The it, it never... They also added in the first game, huh? they had uh, the barracks of the yeah. secret police or something. Yeah, 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 because mm -hmm. that never happened in the West. Hello, Bubair. Thank you for joining us. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the Gallic tribes just never <laughs> The Gully tribes are just, are just the Awarni. That's it. That's it. That's, that's all the goals we had. Sorry, guys. The Iceni. Oh, so we got Budica. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or Budica's, you know, Budica's peeps. Um, Swaby. The the okay. Okay. And, and the Geta. Okay. Not mm -hmm. bad. Not bad. I was hoping in the Batawi, but, you know, uh, but Alex is not here with us. So we, so we can't talk shit about his ancestors. <laughs> so that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to chat. How do you chat, people? Can you can we chat with the? Uh, for... Um, you can use it on Twitch. Yeah, private, on right? Twitch. Chat. Yeah, on no, Twitch. no, you can do it on Twitch. I can. I have the power to chat from here, but you can only do it on Twitch. Um, ah, okay. But well, I think nice. we are going to. Yeah. Then you. Well, which faction? Going you, to... Which faction? You, which faction? Oh, you I well, think the Ptolemy is. Since you are here, Daniela, oh, yeah. we chose the Ptolemies. Ah, my God. We no, had to look no. at the last time, so we did the Ptolemies. Ah, no. My, yeah, yeah. My, it's very, we play in a very weird way because we did, uh, uh, last time we did the Sikhs. And, mm -hmm. and, yep. and now we do, why don't we do the Romans? I mean, we could do oh, the Romans if we want. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, we, we you know, we were trying, we're trying to please to please everyone here. <laughs> no, we can no, play no. with the Romans. Okay, we, which we, which we, Roman we, faction? Or, whom whom are we hating? First time we played. Uh, we played. Uh, remember, we played. Um, what's the name? Um, uh, the Mycenaean things. You know, the uh, Trojan Troy. Yeah, we played. We made yeah, the we siege, played. The mm. siege of Mycenae instead of doing the siege of of, of Troy. Yeah, we we're, we're <laughs> do everything you know. opposite. Oh, the game is about. Uh, of course we are. Of course we do. So of course this is about do. the Romans. Let's yeah, okay, so we don't want to be the Julii, the Corneliae, or it's, it's, who's, it's, who's there? Is the Roman, it must be the Julian. Uh, yes, we get, we, gotta... we get some great bonuses to Romanization. To Romanize, right? Uh, we are yeah. going to bring uh, them civilization, aqueducts, <laughs> and um, roads, a postal system. Um, let me think. What else are we bringing them? Well, the patriarchy probably already was there. So we're not bringing them the patriarchy, yeah. but we are reinstating, you know, a, a yeah. stronger there is, patriarchy. There is a, wait, wait, there is a, no, there is one uh, DLC and it's uh, Rome in the uh, second triumvirate. So you get uh, Octavian, you get Mark Antony. And oh my god guy. oh we can do that one i think i have it oh <gasps> we can do that one actually um, yeah. oh my god that's so cleopatra sorry. cleopatra's a hot button issue right is now. Near. okay okay <laughs> yes yes so if we have to do the romans we let's do this in the world. that's true that's true oh we my can god. do cleopatra Oh, we could play with Cleopatra. It's that's a hot issue oh, or we could go against could, against yeah. cleopatra anthony we can do mark anthony wow Wow, and we can talk. We can talk shit about. Uh, I mean, not necessarily talk shit about Mark Antony. I mean, we can have <laughs> opinions about that. Yeah, yeah, you can you can bring up that Parthian triumph. Uh, that what, we we don't talk about the Parthians for? here. We don't talk about the Parthians here. But we could also play as the Romans and just and see like and see how we um what kind of battles we have to fight and what kind of Did issues. We could do my boy Lepidus, the oh the uh, the underappreciated, the the anchor of the, the second triumvirate. He didn't even go there. <laughs> you leave that man alone. <laughs> he didn't even go there. No, okay. If like third triumvirate, like the second, third triumvirate, it's us right now. Um, so you know, take. <laughs> there's, so, I mean, there's also Pompey. Is Sextus Pompey? 
Oh, yeah. so we're playing as pirates? Insert chaos into the mix. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so it's just, the just karma, for, you know, it's for... the karma of the Pompeii that the father was the defeater of the pirates and the son is a and pirate. then the son became a pirate, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you know, it's a rebellious phase, right? Who amongst us hasn't been a goth, you know, a punk, a pirate at a certain point? You know, it's it happens, it happens to the best of us. Um, I think the police is coming back. Sorry, it's it happens. <laughs> There's always the police it's going around my house. Police. It's the secret police. It's the secret police, the oriental secret police. <laughs> you know, New England is is uh, is clearly an oriental faction. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, should we play with Rome? Should we play with Egypt? Yeah, um, I was say... yes, the Carmen, I the Carmen San Diego streaming. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that is me. You know, where in the world is next time? Next time with the with the red hat. Um, well, I mean, since Daniela is like the the guestest of guests here, you can choose the faction with whom we can play today. Uh, now I messed it up. If we have to be Rome, let's do uh, Octavians. No. Okay. Okay, let's be, start with Rome let's be like, Rome. that's fair. Also, look at the Parthian which, king which with, the, Agrippa, really, not Octavian. with the right thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, Agrippa was the best admiral of his time. He was a great man. Um, he was a great man. He was a great man. Questions, qu the question is, where the fuck did that terrible, terrible son of his came out? Because Agrippa Postumus... Since Eduardo is a is a great meme creator, there is this uh, there was this amazing <laughs> there was this amazing tweet uh, a few a few months back. It was do you would you vote or would you prefer one giant Agrippa or one hundred tiny Mark Antony? <laughs> okay, okay. Which one? Which one would you fight? It's it's an important question. On land or sea. Good. Yeah, yeah are they, I, I think I think I do the hundred Mark Anthony is just like the chaos that that could ensue. <laughs> yeah, like, he's my boy. He was he was a a chaotic. Um, what was his star sign? This is now 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 this is now astrology astrology. Oh, look, look at look at Anthony right there. Oh my God, Miss Cleopatra and Anthony. Cleopatra is he's very pale. Cleopatra. <laughs> She's very pale. <laughs> and why doesn't he have a beard? Well, no, he, he should not have a beard. But like what is this what is this with Volcat? What they did him wrong. I think they I mean, he looks more like um Agrippa in the Rome series. Because Agrippa he in the does. Rome series had a similar hair thing. Augustus just has an infinitely punchable face in any adaptation of him that I see. Uh that is he fair. Has the, the, uh, we have a we have a bust of him in the classics library over here uh <laughs> pretty sure he stares at me the entire time of course he's got hair. he's got the hair uh, with the same uh, the same lock intersecting like a crab like in the statues that was very <laughs> creepy look at that coin yeah. oh, oh look man. at the coin Can I, is that Re really school? really really enjoy the added numismatic layer of rome total war ii where they start adding coins and everything to the main thing let's see So you are Octavian. <clears throat> you can't hear the audio, but the, the announcer said instead of Lepidus, Lepidus. Uh, uh, no, yeah. we don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we don't agree with that pronunciation. That's, um, that's okay, so Mark Anthony was a Latin, Latin being pronounced in English. No, it was yeah. Have you seen yeah, the that's... TikTok video about the coronation? <laughs> Oh my I've god. Oh my god. Yep, yep, yep. I saw that. Uh there was a it, it very um, interesting pronunciation of Regina. Yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sounded entirely like something else. Uh, that's a problem. Actually, when I was when I was watching The Crown, like I think it was the first the first season, um, there's like grandma um quit like like the the wife of of the late Georgia Fitch is like oh you know Elizabeth you know the the woman needs to needs to make way for Elizabeth Regina and I was like no 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 there is <laughs> no. a there is a there is a city there's actually a big city in, in Canada called Regina <clears throat> so yeah no it's that's a problem <laughs> <laughs> anyways so, so wait 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 so we have the dynasty the Octavian yes. dynasty this is the Octavian no. Uh -huh. Good old, oh, good old oh, Pappy. Well, Uncle Caesar, oh. legal Pappy. <laughs> yeah, great, great Uncle Caesar. 
we have yeah. Yulia. Okay. We we have who the who does who that no, Claudia no, Pulkra. No, no. And, and a Gaius, as one does. As one, there's always a Gaius. So this is one of the new things that they added in uh, Total War to Rome 2. I don't know. The naming conventions keep changing every... Total War Rome 2, I believe, is now the official one. Uh, but here is the government overview where you can basically influence the Senate. No, Octavian already has his own dynasty. He's already called an emperor. Right, which uh, is... Uh, not really the case. No, no, no. Um, actually, yeah, I don't think he's even... I don't think they even call it the spring caps or anything. They just straight up give you a dynasty. And you can kind of secure the loyalty of the patricians, the Libertini. I'm going to do that with the patricians. I mean, yeah. So yeah. for for the people who who may not be um, um really well well versed in this in this complex and chaotic um political situation of the of the second triumvirate um who who wants to sum up wh what is happening who are we dealing with and what is going on um and where where we are in time at at this point because we are talking oh yeah lepidus haha that's a triumvirate and then people may be like who what when um so um any takers yeah, Eduardo. Eduardo, I'm looking at you. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So yeah, there. Uh, so Rome during the Republic it gets these spurts of things called triumvirates. There are official triumvirates. They, they like in official capacity, they could designate these councils of three. Pero in the late Republic, you kind of get the first triumvirate, which is an unofficial political alliance between Pompey, Crassus, and Caesar famously goes to heck, uh, oh, we can curse here, goes to shit, uh, yeah, we can, once yeah. Crassus kicks the bucket at Cray, uh, and then there is the second triumvirate that forms in the immediate aftermath after the assassination of Julius Caesar, and there is kind of a resulting political fallout where no, everybody's jockeying for position, it's very, uh, these need succession, the latest episodes of succession, where people are going, who's going to give the funeral oration, who's going to do this? Uh, someone whips out a will. Uh, we don't know what's on the will. Uh, sketchiness all abounds. Uh, but eventually, amidst the political fallout, you kind of get these three major players. Uh, Lepidus had his moment to shine uh, because he was, in effect, the second in command in the immediate aftermath of Julius Caesar's assassination as the Magister of Horse. Uh, he doesn't really do anything with it. He kind of loses his shot. He has it. He doesn't take it. He he, and then eventually you have Anthony and Octavian being the ones that start jostling into position, and then you get a kind of tripartite division, where they go, okay, you're gonna govern this area. I'm gonna govern this area, and you're gonna govern, and the other guy's gonna govern this area, and this is kind of the resulting kaleidoscopic. Uh, you can tell from the map gore that's going on here. You have three different colors to denote Lepidus over here in good old Spain and Iberia. Augustus gets kind of the sweet deal. Although initially it's not the sweet deal because Italy has suffered a lot in these civil wars. Uh, soldiers are really angry. They want their land apportionments that they were promised. So Augustus actually, or Octavian at this point, he doesn't get Augustus till later. It, but Octavian really has the initial short end of the stick. Pero, because he's actually, well, and he also has Agrippa along with him, uh, but he's a really good administrator. Uh, and He kind of comes to grips with what is going on in Italy and kind of reshuffles. And he initially starting off on the back foot, but he recovers really quickly. Um, Anthony then is over here. He gets Greece and he gets Roman possessions in Asia Minor in Syria, notably because Rome gets Syria after the Seleucids get dissolved. They get northern Syria, which is kind of the Seleucid stronghold. They get that in Cilicia um, in the immediate aftermath of the Roman dissolution of the Seleucid polity in 63 BC, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, and Anthony is set to govern there, along with, of course, his famous interactions with Cleopatra, who is there governing um, 
the Ptolemaic uh, kingdom in the immediate aftermath of their own civil <laughs> uh, distress. That uh, one of one served. of their many civil <laughs> wars, like um, and Egypt at this point is indebted to Rome for like six hundred talents, something of the sort. Yeah. So Cleopatra's father had asked Pompey for some coin, um, and never given it back. Um, so and he leaves a a kingdom in in shambles. Um. A daughter, a few sons, well, two daughters, actually, but one, unfortunately, falls on a vial of poison uh, or down a flight of stairs. It depends. Um, several sons um, and and a giant debt. Um, so uh, that is that is that is the situation in Egypt at the point at that point. Um, and actually, the um, the situation with the land in Italy is messy, and the person who also tells us how messy it is is none other than Virgil. Um, when he starts his his bucolics with Titira tu patolera cubans sub degmine fagi, this it, it is like a, a poem of like a collection of poems, and in uh, several of them, these these uh, shepherds lament the fact that they're going to have to leave their fields because they're being taken and redistributed to the veterans of the civil wars. Um, so we see these, these malcontent and these uh, social issues seeping into actually art and like of people that were not necessarily politically, you know, partisans at the time, but we see that like it was, was a mess for everyone involved. Um, and also we should talk about how good Agrippa was. Um, Agrippa was Marcus Vipsanius Agrippa. Um, he was Octavian's mate. Uh, he was Octavian's right hand, best, you know, best man, best buddy. Um, greatest admiral of his time. Um, the future winner of the Battle of Actium. Um, possibly naval consultant for Virgi Virgil in the N8. I heard, I read that. It was uh, an interesting yeah. theory. Uh, there are a few articles about that. Very interesting because, like, Virgil clearly was not a, like a, a, you know, a uh, a sailor, but he may have had access to someone who was indeed a sailor. So probably, probably, you know, at least it was the like you know, reading the things. The sailor, yeah, no, Agrippa was good. Agrippa was excellent. Um, also, and, Bilder, yeah, Bilder, oh, there uh, is. Agrippa, come again? Yes. Yeah, that's him. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Builder, builder we of. See, we, uh, see, we don't see the name. We see the name Eduardo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. That's, Eduardo is a Gripa at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, that's him. Yeah. Also the, um, and play with Agrippa. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and also one of the people that Octavian desperately tried to set up as his heir for his succession and failed because Agrippa died before you know before Augustus. Um, which was which was the, also Augustus at the time was not Augustus yet. It was Octavian, right? It was still um the the heir of caesar the young caesar uh although the fact that he had been adopted was questioned because caesar's will was it the real one was it not this is all the hot gossip from the ancient times so it is a very politically charged situation and there's also the issue that at a certain point two of the main players meet in tarsus uh cleopatra and mark antony meet in Tarsus, and it's you know, and they it's just it's just they're they're struck by lightning. It's a it's a a love story for the ages between two very chaotic people, um, with big egos and everything else. Um, he was he was styling himself as a new Heracles, he was big, manly man, you know, and all his soldiers loved him and everything else. She was an excellent queen, she was the, the first one in a long line of pharaohs to speak Egyptian and be able to read Egyptian. Um, and a shrewd politician, she was kind of keeping the kingdom, you know, afloat after all the, the shit that her, her, the drunken sod of her father had done. Um, she disposed of at least one sister, <laughs> you know. I mean, who amongst us hasn't? Um, but yeah, it was it was a mess, and it was also a mess because Antony was technically married um, to Octavian's sister, Octavia. Um, so yeah, it's not a good situation for anyone. Well, oh, there's also pirates. There's also pirates. Um, <laughs> one of one of Pompey's sons, um, one of Pompey's sons, has decided that his career, instead of being you know a lawyer or a doctor, no, he wants to be a pirate, and he becomes a pirate. Um, and he's a massive pain in the ass for everyone involved. Uh, he sets camp in Sicily, um, and he's 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 a messy, a messy, messy man. 
And all of these, if you want like um, a very uh, funny version of all of this and then tragic, you just watch, you know, any uh, stage stage production of uh, Anthony and Cleopatra by Shakespeare, because that's, that's the thing. If you find the globe one, um, watch that, because it's probably one of the best productions ever made. Um, we had a very dramatic reading of Anthony's dying scene. But the guy who was playing Anthony was the understudy of the understudy. So he had the script in his hands. So he was dying, then sitting up to read the script and then dying again because he had like one day to prepare. <laughs> Fantastic, incredible, <laughs> excellent production. That's the best story I will ever tell about, you know, about that that play. Um, so yeah, we are we are in in a mess for everyone involved. Ah, <sighs> and we are playing as Octavian. So we're gonna have to what do we, we have play, to do? We play now and we're not. We're not allied with any one of the other Romans, but we're not at war yet, mm. right? We're a defensive ally because, again, we're working with the, the political mechanisms of the game, right? Within the framework, a defensive ally with Anthony, although he really doesn't like us. Mm. Uh, <laughs> the irony is that it's they, they chalk it up to cultural aversion. I mean, Which, he's a Roman. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how they, Anthony's Rome, what, actually, where do you, where do they show the culture for it? Because I'm curious, they might have given him like an Eastern culture or so. That's weird. Yeah. Um, and then where's our good buddy? Oh, Lepidus doesn't like us either, but Lepidus was fine. No, we have to be friends. <laughs> Fuck off. Mm. I think our our main enemy is going to be Pompey, who, for some reason, we start off with neutral, but he also just hates us. I guess they give all the Romans cultural aversion against each other to kind of simulate the fact that you're about to pop mm. off a civil war, but so, yeah, I was just uh, basically doing trade rights with a bunch of Gauls uh, that are clients uh, because uh, uh, I keep saying uh, Augustus, Octavian, Octavian. Uh, also gets Gaul and Gaul is not as politically unified yet. So there's a fair number of tribes that are kind of allied with the Romans. Uh, also historically so. So I just started making trade agreements with them to kind of get, you know, These more money. Agreement. Ooh. Okay, yeah, with Thrace. Oh, with Thrace, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah but they're a client state of Anthony. That's I mean, a... <laughs> we, sure. can get, we can get stuff from under his butt, uh, you know, yeah, under sure. his oriental yeah. butt. So, so yeah. put them into our... <laughs> exactly, call them in. It's like, yeah, come with us. We have uh, a tyrant. <laughs> and you also have a tyrant. I do like this style of um, representing the units. The unit cards are it very nice. Cool. The units, yes. The buildings, I find it uh, at the beginning, and it's like, oh, what is this? What, what is it? Because uh, the icon yeah. is not it's, very easy to recognize. It's I not mean, very intuitive. Is, is yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah. I mean, it's very artistic. It's very nice. It's pretty, but, but then again, there is well, there is there, the there is something to be said. Water. Right about about streamlining streamlining something for simplicity's sake, especially in a game that is dense. Yes, yeah. you yeah. can. Uh, yeah, you can uh, increase improve their um, when there is this a, a tiny yellow chevron pattern on the unit. You can improve armor or something like the first one to the. Oh, it's based left. on yeah. It's based on the building right if it's like if it's like a region where they can upgrade uh, something if they move the parts mm -hmm. oh there you go yeah yeah you can upgrade the those um you can also oh i see that you have legio legions with yes. their with their name oh yeah oh i love that okay how do you how do you like can you can you like do you need a specific building to raise a legion no. you raise mm -hmm. a general you raise a general general and it automatically gets a name but but you have the legion has a history so as you play the unit is gaining uh, experience and 
if this legion is destroyed in battle, it lost, mm -hmm. you can reinstate the legacy of the legion. So next Whoa. general higher, you can tell him to be the general of the Legio, Legio Tertia Ferrata if that legion had been uh, disbanded before. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's even, so cool. You can even select the emblem, as you see, he just did that. Mm -hmm. I for saw each, that. Uh, oh, each, my me. God. And once we get some battles, we can focus on the traditions because those actually have a substantial impact on like how your army behaves. Mm -hmm. They range from like, oh, you can march farther to like, oh, your skirmishers have better, uh, more ammunition and stuff like that. So it can actually be substantial. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. A um, similar thing for the fleet also. Mm -hmm. Oh, so yes. you got the classes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, oh, this is, this is. The agents can um, can have um, skills that they improve as they, you select yeah. them when they do uh, yeah, uh, missions. Have, what is this agent? Make, uh, here oh. we have a veteran. Yes. Okay. So we can actually put him in the army, and he should give experience. Yeah. True. We can bring this that is back. A, This is great. This is complex. Yeah, yeah it's, it is. It's a, it's a substantial. Uh, Complexification. I you have a little bit more things to do other than moving people around. Yeah, I don't just yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. Um and you I feel they they maintain they maintain a lot of these things for um for Attila, like the, the Legion thing, you can have it for the um oh that's no it. no <laughs> oh my god we gotta kill that. Lepidus <sighs> Goodbye, okay. Lepidus. We said that uh, uh, he was first, our first enemy, in fact. <laughs> it's Lepidus. In he's fact. neutral. He's new. Yeah, Lepidus declared a war before Pompey. Uh, somebody was writing in the chat, uh, Lepidus, go home, you're boring. And it was you. Yeah, huh? You're boring. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, of course it was me. <laughs> he, he, he heard that. He right. heard, he heard his that and introduction decided, and then the comments. He decided to take off yeah. us. He decided I'm to get real boring. spicy about it. Uh, I'm not boring, and I'm gonna show you. Yes, by being slaughtered, we love that for oh, you. I have slums. Oh, yeah. This I is mean, when you clear an area to build something, and then you don't build actually something. Oh, yeah. so you should get the slums. The, the white hammer. The, the white hammer means you are preparing an area for construction. Mm. You're clearing an area, or you cleared actually an area, and then if you don't have something, it becomes slums, and then it has a negative effect. This is um. A very a very Roman approach to it. It's like, yeah, we gotta we gotta clear, we gotta we gotta build right now. We gotta do the things. We're gonna need to, we need to be productive. Rupa. <laughs> I'm too used to I'm too used to the the newer ones that if you trespass somewhere, they will do let you know that hey, you're trespassing, yeah. don't do it. But I don't care about trespassing. Oh, yeah. Oh look at Syracuse. Oh my god, can we look at Syracuse? Can we look at cities? <laughs> oh, like inside? No. I don't think oh. this one has the city view, right? That is sad. The that's city, about Lucas, you you going to, if you want to well, try, try on one of yours. Yeah. Maybe Rome. I don't think this one has the city. I think they took the city view out, if I recall. It is sad. That is sad. Because I remember that was one of the big things. that We were like, oh, I can't see the cities anymore. Yeah. You can see them on like a siege map. Okay, uh, that's some, some have like custom maps, like Carthage has a custom <laughs> map and stuff like that. We can do a nice, uh, but not everybody. <laughs> Ooh, actually, I think, I think, I think yeah, I think I can just load up the siege map for Alexandria, so I don't actually have to. Yeah, yeah. you know, it'll take ages to to get there. <laughs> to get there, but it's cool. That is cool. Yeah, he was like at this point, point, had been yeah, some hundred years, fifty years. Um, and it was still it was still a, a big ass city with big ass walls. Um, Alexandria, uh, yeah. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, Syracuse too. Um, okay. One second. I need to go rescue my food from outside. Sure. Soon. Listen, it's it's twenty nine <laughs> degrees. Okay. I gotta. If I leave stuff outside, by the time we're done, it's gonna be cooked. So <laughs> you should have, you should have seen my face when you initially said thirty degrees and. <laughs> Fahrenheit. I, yeah, I'm on Fahrenheit. I've always been so. No, we are. We are. We do in this house. I do Celsius, and my wife does Fahrenheit. <laughs> <laughs> right. A divided household. Yes. Um. I'll be back, but please, please okay. continue. You know, continue talking shit about Lepidus. That's what. There is uh, in this game. Is also this thing about uh, food. Huh? 
which is very, is, we need to be very cautious mm -hmm. because if you look, look at the panel of the province, it tells you, for example, Aquitania, is it yours? It tells you minus one now. Where right. is, because I'm looking at the on general left, food uh, thing. On the left. Uh, on the left uh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. You get the public order and you, know, you get the food. So if this goes mm. down, people starve and it's uh, it's a bad thing. So yeah, I think it's, it's some, contributing. Some of the things you build, some of the things of the uh, the things you build cost food in terms of it consumes a certain amount of food every turn. And so you need to always make sure that within the province there are food produced facilities all the time. It's always about yeah, balance, uh, kind of buildings you you do because it's uh, if you don't think about that, this is something that was not there in the previous games. So you just go build things, and then you realize who's eating all the food. <laughs> it's all the buildings. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the it's same thing with the uh, and, and then they they to guess the balance it out right because it's always a game of a mechanism working with another game mechanism. Food yeah. can also adversely affect a squalor. That's one of the ways that you, okay, you can't build too many farms because everybody's going to yeah. complain yeah. that it stinks. Uh, yes. So they kind of do an artificial way of balancing it all. Yeah, see, there you yeah. go. So yeah. even if I do, if I turn this into a fishmonger, which will give me a lot of food at the expense of not having a, a facility to build Navy, to, to build bigger ships, yeah. or to have a trading oh, facility if I just want to do it. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. thing. Off of this one. So right now, I think we're good on food. Also, winter affects food. If I recall correctly, like the seasons affect food. So you'll have lower wow. yields in the winter time also. I believe that's how that works. I don't, um, I don't remember this. So I'm just going to start bolstering food. Usually there's the encyclopedia or anything like that, but there's troubled. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. See, here we have one. I think they're pissed at me because the culture right now, right? It's, yeah. it's Celtic some instead religious of Latin. Building. Some religious mm -hmm. should speak to this. Some, some here. gives you cultural influence. Or... A nice uh, Jupiter one is the one that's more... I think Jupiter is the one that's given the most cultural conversion. Yeah. The political yeah. power, I think. Mm-hmm. So I will yeah, start with that. Point. Note that the village here, they're kind of specialized. So they give them a village, but it's horse trainers. Yeah. Let's see here. So count that. These also need. Yeah, this Indeed. is one of the things that it incentivizes is these buildings of like you as a cultural converter. Just making buildings. Build is, temples are the build only build thing. Up. It's a very, it's a very, no, no, uh, no. what was that? I'm sorry. You, you, you do have cultural things, I think like libraries or something like that, that might affect the... some, of, some of these, like, uh, I think some of these also affect oh, the library, not the, no research rate. No. Okay. <clears throat> Are you doing any research? Remember the research? Yes, I just ticked. I did military research because this is going to be a pretty military focused campaign. It's really funny that you don't even get like the basic land management and here you are Rome in 40 BC and you still have to do like land management, <laughs> yeah. one, the, the most basic yeah. of things. Landers. But I think I'm going to actually just focus on military stuff because they were already from the get go. A Where's my stance? Okay, so they move. So next turn. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Our agent gets. So do I have a mod downloaded, or do they do actually have a reference just straight up to Pullo from um, uh, what's the thing called the, the Rome series? I guess they already, yeah, because I, I, de I deleted all my mods, so I guess this is actually in the game, and it's a really good... Uh... Ah, Pulio? Yeah, it's, it's also a really good uh, set of bonuses that he gets, actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get that one. Yeah, they got, they got those characters um, from, I don't remember which Roman historian, 
like from like Pulo the, and, and 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 the and his dude and Varese. Isn't it in Caesar's account? Is it? It's I think Caesar's I think it's Caesar's he has a, account. He has, a, he has a wonderful tendency to go to highlight like a specific unit or a specific guy. He's like, and this guy in this battle did something super courageous, but it was yeah. it was because of me. It, but, right, but he it was did just it, like, okay. yeah. But he, he did it. But he was followed my order. <laughs> All right, so I think I don't have anything standing, so we can just I have a good surplus of money that I will be hoarding. Well, let's go spend it in killing. I, yeah, I did a really I recruited a bunch because uh, Rome, uh, you get a lot of military buildings from the get go, uh, so you can recruit basically an entire army. Just like stamp your foot, and they will raise like the the what is it, the, the people that are sewed into the ground from the teeth? Uh, the Spartoi. Yeah, the Spartoi. Let's see, non-aggression pack, sure. Yeah, I yeah, we're good, we're good with that. We need as many as possible, because I really don't need anybody sneaking up from the back right now. We'll I'm try, putting all my, us. yeah, I'm putting mm -hmm. all my, my eggs into the Lepidus basket. So I'm gonna do a naval blockade. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's important. It's important yeah. to the blockade, so they can they can trade. That I mean, it also if... it also substantially lowers the uh, amount of sieging time. Although yeah. I don't know why am I am I being actually blocked by Pompey? I think you're being blocked moving? by them. Yeah, I'm in I'm in his little area yeah. of control. Also interesting that they chose um, uh, Acragas, which was not called Agrigentum. I was mm. called Acragas, and not Lilibeum, which was actually the harbor on that side. And it's the closest harbor to Carthage. Ooh. And Lilibeum was there I in know, the first game. Yes, it was there in the first game. Yeah, yeah. And Acragas was not. Because, I mean, there's, there's not... I mean, there's a, it's, it was not a, a naval base. Like, Lilibeum was an important one. And, and they, they captured it during the Punic Wars because it was so important. Um... And it was, and Lily Bayon was like the version 2.0 of Mozia. <laughs> so, which is not exactly a nice place where to have a fleet because Mozia is an island inside like a giant, basically, like, uh, it's not a bay, it's a very narrow bay, but like you can't get in with ships. So, when it was um, actually to conquer it, they had to drag, like, the, the Greeks had to drag the ships on land to put the ships in the bay to take the island. So, um, yeah. It was, you know, those were the days. <laughs> it was, it was a great moment. It was, well, I mean, it was a good moment for for the Greeks. Oh yeah, they were like, well, I mean, the long history of dragging ships on land. It happens also during the siege of of Constantinople in fourteen fifty three. Yeah, they dragged the ships up up the Golden Horn. So you know, uh, it, you know, it's it's a good old tradition. Uh, I cannot believe I was just cock blocked by. Uh... Pompey's son to I mean, invade to invade uh, Carthage. Like, leave me alone. I mean, how dare you? You know, we we got important things to do. Oh yes, just be friends. I love you all, barbarians. It's funny that I get all like look at the, the house, yeah. yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, like get it. Yeah, just all these non-aggression packs. I love you all. Oh, god damn it! Perate, perate. Okay here. I'm going to have to do some adjusting of mm -hmm. raising of some Gallic legionaries, get some wellites. Right. And then I should be free now. Okay. Yeah. Double time and then just get in there. Okay. And then my guy has leveled up and I'm just going to keep giving him more bonuses to my infantry just because I think that's super good and then agrippa's following behind oh, <laughs> he's agrippa, trailing it, a little bit it's, it's good it's gonna take him some time but he will yeah, be there eventually it's fine. it's fine he'll catch up it is boo augustus uh don't need that missile damage the romans famously are not missile heavy um yeah, let's do that upkeep cost is always good because especially navies ancient navies took so much to upkeep just because like ships were so high maintenance that a lot of the time naval work was contracted out to people that like knew what they were talking about like the Seleucids for instance they had uh fleets from local Phoenician cities that contributed greatly to their navy and who who knew who knew ships better than the Phoenicians you know? exactly and the answer is the Greeks well, that's a that's a tradition <laughs> from the Persians no to... 
Yeah. Mm. Yes. Issues, yeah. definitions. Yeah, exactly. Issues. Exactly. Oh, well, I mean. Should yeah. we? Should we? I mean, Augustus I mean, is going to come in. Should we? Oh, find we can about, 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 about the, the, on, in Alexandria. These things and just go them. No. Oh, okay, we'll do the Alexandria oh, yeah. one. So yeah, let's yeah, yeah. just do this quickly. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The size of victory. Thank you. Thank you. We love that. I will take it, especially since it's Carthage. Um, exactly. Exactly. How, how's Rome? Okay. They could use with a little, some conversion I mean, to the Roman ways. Right. Carthage, so, Carthage was settled by Caesar. I was about uh, to say, yeah. it, it already was like uh -huh. a, a very Roman city with, I think, the second largest circus in the, in the Roman Empire later on. Um, and never salted. And never salted. That's true. That's true. That's bullshit. <laughs> but it was cursed. <clears throat> it was there cursed. was uh, there was this curse that uh, that Caesar bypassed by what is it was a sacrifice or an oracle or a, a, a religious de decision to uh, say that it was okay to resettle because the the yeah. um, the original was to um, never resettle in this place yeah. again and it yeah, was yeah. abandoned for many many centuries. Yeah, that's true. But Many it's such a but it's such a, a good years. it's such a good position for a for a city. Yeah, you're like, you can't, yeah. you can't like that. Also, if you look at like um Phoenician settlements in the Western Mediterranean, they're all the same. There's a peninsula, a natural gulf, and a river nearby. Oh, all no. of them. All of them. Oh, oh shit. No. Oh shit. Are we gonna oh, get no. a group is gonna die? Oh no. Oh there's well. no way I can win this because he has actual sh uh, ships and I only have troop transport. This is alternative history. Agrippa yeah. died. Well, Agrippa oh, dies he... on his way. Well, he'll take okay. Well, yeah, do something, Agrippa. Well, oh, oh, RIP. Okay. Oh R. yikes! R. Oh, that's so bad. Who is gonna build the pantheon now? Right. Who's gonna Who's gonna build the pantheon now? A grip apostle. Well, there's not going to be a grip apostle, though. That's a win. Um. So. <laughs> um. Okay. So we are asked. Uh, we are killing a whole season of I Claudius. That's very true. <laughs> that's very true. Uh, we're also asked when will the elephants appear? Because I, can't, we have I don't think the Romans, I think I might be able to raise them up through mercenaries, but I don't think the Romans get a cavalry building that can recruit elephants, right? If anything, they'd have to be either regional troops in somewhere in North Africa or somewhere in, yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe in North Africa. At the time, there were still elephants in the area west of uh, Carthage. Yeah, I'm trying to see. They are not, the they are not really the little good ones. Things to fight, you know. It's African mm. elephants are very disappointing since Raphael. I mean, to be fair, why would they want to fight? They're like, eh. <laughs> no, the the Seleucid uh, elephants were yeah. really, really they were, nasty because yeah. well, the they were they were bred for that. Is a big no, but you know that they tried when they the Ptolemies tried to uh, when they saw that okay. They have elephants. We get elephants from Meroe. Mm -hmm. and there is all uh, a few a few decades of trade and relationship between the, Ptolemy, the Ptolemies and uh, and the Meroitic uh, mm -hmm. kings. Uh, we have um, hunting uh, parties and settlements. And there is huge. Uh, and then in Rafia, they just suck. <laughs> They're so <laughs> small. Yeah, it was like it's like we the tanks smell. are not firing, you know. They were all yeah. retreating because they are much smaller than the Asian elephant. Oh, and they're too cute and, and nice to go fight. Oh, so. they're so sweet. So I have I have a question like ele elephant elephant husbandry. So would they go and capture the babies and raise them? Would they try to capture like the moms and then some males to have more? Like, how do we know? It's like Hmm. That's a good question. I right. you, have the, you have the elephant hunt from, but uh, the the Ptolemaic evidence for like the uh, the elephant hunt, but I forget if they specifically. Say. Yeah, I don't, I don't say. remember. Yeah, I'm sure that it doesn't say, but maybe there are other sources. Hmm. Because I, I there know. are there are like some very nice um, Greek and also Roman configurations of like the elephants, like the war elephants from from like from Epirus coming in, and there's like mama elephant with the mahout on top and the baby holding her her tail with his ah. trunk. <laughs> and they are the cutest thing ever. 
but like so clearly they were breeding them right that, that's that's a lot of that's a lot of grass that you gotta give them that's a lot of effort to and you need to keep them like reasonably healthy if you want to be able to you know to send them somewhere yeah they're, and, they're they're high maintenance they're it's why they're such a status symbol right it's why you have the Seleucids especially using that elephant iconography when they can get it just because it, it shows that you have such a command over resources and mm -hmm. it, yeah, they're expensive. Yeah. Also, like, how how do you send them across the sea, right? If you're if you're Pyrrhus, how do you send them across? You know, from Epirus to Italy, do you for a big uh, big old flat, transport big boat? boat. <laughs> <laughs> do you make like a big flat boat and hope that they'll be fine in like the you know half an hour it takes yeah. to cross? <laughs> you just do you sing to them? Do you just do you just distract them? Like, do you, do you give them a little lifesaver and make them swim? I don't know. I have so many questions. Well, we had a decisive victory there. Uh, yeah, well. I, I really, well, first of all, my army is now diseased, uh, which is great. Um, Let's, can, can we send, can we send like some, some plague spreaders into the city? There are chat, uh, chat things that are interesting. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've seen Disney's fantasy. Yeah, you said swimming and dancing. Yes, with a pink tutu. That's fair. I, I'm not sure I would bring those into battle uh, unless it was a dance, a dance off. In which case, those were yes. the elephants of Raffia. From those the were the Raffia elephants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the Ptolemaic <laughs> elephants. They were like they were very dainty elephants. Um, but yeah, no. So so many so many good questions and so you know so little so little answers. I would love to know more about that. Um, I'm also reminded of like speaking of like capturing like wild animals and and doing it weird. Um, in one of the um, one of the biggest cycles of like mosaics in the Western Mediterranean, Roman mosaics in the Western Mediterranean, it's in Sicily, it's in uh, Piazza Armenia in the Villa del Casale, and there's this giant mosaic of the hunt. So it's Romans capturing um, wild animals for the games, um, and there's you know there's there's crocodiles, there's I think some rhinos and everything else, and then there's this guy who is single handedly lifting up and bringing away an ostrich okay <laughs> he's lifting up, lifting up a whole Come ostrich <laughs> it's like you are going to die a really bad death because that ostrich is going to deck you um but yes yeah, so it like, depends of uh, assassin's creed origin there's all this part of the game that you are you're fighting roman poachers in the desert yeah yeah it, but it's it's so weird. Let's see if I can find if I can find images of this because it's 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 bad. It's like they're they're capturing weird things. They're like oh, there's leopards and and bears, um, and like uh, antilopes and lions and tigers, um, and then there's like a um, quite convincing rhinoceros. I have to say, hmm. um, like, rarity. Oh, they surely they had seen one because this one looks this one looks almost convincing. Almost. I didn't say yeah. it's perfect, but it looks almost convincing. I'm looking for the guy with the ostrich. Ah, there's a link it's... now. With uh -huh. the... is, it, is it a late antique mosaic, right? It's late antique. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're like, you know, they're... the elephants, they, def... they definitely seen the elephants, um, which is great. Oh, there we go. We got two guys with the ostriches. <laughs> Come hear you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just it's just like, look at, look at these boys. Like, they're, they're just... They're just... Bring in those ostriches. Oh, it's a huge mosaic. Wow. Yeah, it's a giant. It's a giant mosaic. It's real. I've I've walked on it. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, that's the guy with the angry ostrich, and th that one's walking it. The guy next to him is just lifting it and just bringing it around. It's you know. Oh, thank you for the the whole work on elephants and warfare. I War will elephants. That. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, uh, what I remember is the uh, in the Fontes Historia in Ubiorum, there is a whole section where it, documents are all by uh, chronological order, but there is all, all the documents relating to the trade of elephants from Meroe to, to the Ptolemies. And I'm sure there is no mention of, uh, of how small they are or how big they are. Uh, I might have to source yeah. somewhere else to see how they train them and how the battle deployment. Oh, you want to fight this? I yeah. might have to fight it. The, the auto result is, is not there are in my lines, uh, 480 Lepidus people coming. Yeah, I'm hoping that uh, 
My mercenaries can do a lot of the work. I mean, one hope, one can hope. I did the. That's one of the things. No, no, is that the Romans were not famed for their cavalry. Often they would have auxilia serve in the cavalry role. So this is very Roman of me. This is very yeah. Roman of you, exactly, yes. exactly. Here. At the wig uh, Vigiles, Vigiles, however you want to pronounce uh, where that are supposed to be the uh, city, kind of the city garrison that have just been, so they have very, they're pretty standard troops that they are in the back. Mm -hmm. They're basically meant to represent just garrison forces, just local levies. And then, of course, the legionaries are right there. The stream you know, is not very, very smooth, huh? Do you see the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's 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 skipping a lot because we're not we're not using OBS. We're uh, screen sharing for once. That's not that's not in my place. Okay, I don't know whose whose ambulance that is. It's so it was my... an elephant. Oh, that was that it was, was an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> it was really an elephant. They're coming for us. Oh. Let's see here. I will do this quick then, since it seems to lag when. It is an actual field battle. Oh, that was not me. That was whoever's honking there. That was <laughs> the elephant. The elephant in her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the reinforcements? Oh, great. From behind? From behind, but they, I think they're only, they're incredibly light. They're 400. Characters. Yeah, but they are 480, huh? It's fine. If are I they are like, them, like citizens? What are they? They have they have their own mercenary. Uh, okay. Cavalry. Oh, they so they have, probably have the, the Iberian cavalry, which is, yeah. which is long tradition. Um, we actually have the mercenaries that fought in Battle of Himera in 480 BCE, and they were um, um, like mounted mounted mercenaries from Iberia, and we have their tombs, their mass ah. graves in Sicily uh, with their horses. So we, we know that it's them. We're like, you know, they buried them. They buried all the thousands of them that they killed. But they're there. Um, great excavation going on there. Incredible stuff. Very sad, too. But, you know. Uh, so, yeah. So you the, have this uh, projectile cavalry? Yes, I'm currently trying to skirmish against their own. And I, if I'm not mistaken, flame shot should be good against cavalry. The only problem is that they also have skirmishers that are kind of chipping away at my cavalry and I really need them. So I don't want to actually overcommit there, but I'm gonna... Well, they're coming anyway, so... Yeah. You have to prepare your back. <clears throat> it's oh, very nice when they shout when you select the army and say, Astati! Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. That, that is reminiscent. I mean, that clearly... Is is very shall. reminiscent of Age of Empires. Oh, we have Lepidus here, by the way. Oh, we have we have the man, the man Where himself. Is he? Where, is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. I mean, we should kill him. I'm just saying. There he is. Right solve, there. I wouldn't solve anything. It's, uh, yeah, well, the pleasure of killing him on the bus. The pleasure of killing Lepidus, like the pleasure of killing one one of the three three three. I mean, three we three. lost Agrippa on uh, on the sea. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it's only fair that we kill Lepidus <laughs> really? now. Yeah, we need to unleash our anger exactly basically. exactly you know we, we gotta we gotta avenge agrippa <clears throat> exactly exactly and then we need we need to raise Carthage again um yeah. uh, that... <laughs> it's too Eduardo. yeah, yeah <laughs> and agrippa there <laughs> wow wow yeah augustus would have been would have been said also uh, that would have probably changed the course of history because agrippa was the winner of the battle of actium uh because octavian was Clearly not the one commanding the, the fleet. The I mean, I'm just saying. Was nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, ah. He was puking on the side. Um, and yeah, and Agrippa was, you know, you know, was beating Octavian and Cleopatra's sorry asses. Um, although I I do not buy that she was that she was running away and trying to, you know, trying to leave him. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, but who knows? Maybe she was. Uh, I don't believe that. Like I, I think it's very convenient that the the evil Oriental woman is running away. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Or, a whole series of stereotypes against against Cleopatra from right. the very I don't... that is just absolutely it's uh, ridiculous. Give give us a so very unbalanced idea of who she was. Yeah, no, exactly. The exactly. Desperate need for money because 
that was the thing that at the end uh, forced them to to attack Cleopatra to make sure that Cleopatra was involved in the war mm -hmm. is that he needed her money to yeah. pay his troops. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there was no no question that once once the war started, she was going to to, to be finished. It was a question of the life life or death for the Roman for Octavian. Yeah, yeah. And also there was like the, the added like ideological issue oh. of her having children with, with Anthony and these children being gifted parts of what was the Roman territory, right? You no, know, part part of the part of the scorn of Octavian was because she was a woman. Well, of course. I mean Octavian was a sociopath. Can we say Are we fighting again? What what kind of countries do they have a woman as a ruler? And it's like right, oh, right. No? I mean, and she's a monster, no, according to the I mean, I mean, yes, Horace says fatale monstrum, yeah. um, which is, he's not totally negative in that ode, though. That is weird because, like, you, you have this whole very dark picture of it, and then he's like, but we're going to give it to her. Uh, Horace also hated women, but you got to give it to her. She died, like, a courageous death. Like, she drank the dark poison rather than being displayed. And I was like, yes, thank you. I mean, yes, that is the way to go, right? The the fuck drama, she, I mean... <laughs> I mean, what was she supposed to do, right? Um, Run I mean, naked was... against the army. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. Especially like, especially since like being displayed <laughs> in a in a Roman triumph would also probably entail being killed in public view, um, or strangled away from you know from from everyone's eyes after the triumph was dead, like they did with with several Gaul, uh, like the several leaders of the Gaul, Gaul tribes. Um, so yeah, she. She really was. She was not about uh, that. Are you life. winning this? Where is the balance of the battle? I don't see. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm still. I'm still losing just because he. Has, I think he has more legionaries than I do. Oh. Um. I'm trying to do some. Oh, I killed the enemy general though. Oh, there you go. He's dead. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye, Lepidus. Bye. Hopefully that'll cause a chain route. Lepidus though I doubt it. I mean, I hope so. You know, the general's dead. Our general is kind of alive. Maybe, probably. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, yeah, I forget who he is. It's just some name. Wait, who is he? Nias Calvius. Okay, or Calvius. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Well, it's on dude. Okay, that's good. Justice for justice for Agrippa, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we got out. We got out. Yes, we also, we also killed I Claudius, but that's okay. We can deal with that. Considering I have veteran legionaries charging downhill. I mean, running. I, I think I might still lose. Yeah. That's okay. Well, well we I'm put up gonna, a good fight at least. I'm just going to speed up. Oh, yeah. So my general tried to oh, actually let me see if I can just take out the skirmishers if anything. That would that would help. I mean if yeah. you can route them. Good move. Good move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, killing, killing, killing. Well, I already I, I got my I got the revenge kill, which is the Lepidus kill. So I will I will Exactly. Take, so that's I good. From the back so they get scared. Boom. Yeah, but but they're blobbed up here. They have Not too many late. for like yeah. Yeah, no, they're 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 a lot. Yeah, a good defeat. Yeah. I'll take it. If I can get like a Pyrrhic victory for them, I'll take it. Uh yeah. how am I still oh, there we go? Costly, Costly enemy. enemy. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's a Pyrrhic victory. We we'll take it, we'll take it. We'll take yeah. it. Thank you very much. We're we're good with that. Uh valiant how defeat. Hellenistic of us to take a Pyrrhic <laughs> victory. A valiant defeat. That's good. Connor is intact. <laughs> My general didn't. Oh, actually, wait. Did my general die? I guess he performed a devotio. Yeah. Did we lose our eagles? If we didn't. No, lose no, eagles, he's still alive. Fine. Oh, that's good. Then who cares? Let's go. <laughs> Listen, if if the Romans survive, survive Ticino Trebia Trasimeno, then then we can survive this battle, right? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> um, Maybe not this one because I don't have enough reinforcements. Yeah, that's the key part. So he's gonna just do oh, a single kill. Yeah. Yeah, here in the shoulder. <laughs> oh yikes! I mean, it's a it's noble death. A noble ah. death, and we get and we get his portrait with the ancestors, right? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Ciao, and bye bye. Ciao and bye. It's Sorry. fine. We can raise another one. I have so much money right now because I spent the first turn just securing everything. That's and again, cool. and, uh, what's his face? Oh, acculturation. Oh, there we go. Cultural understanding, syncretism. Okay. Okay. Subjugation. Yeah, big big words. Yeah, inclusion, yeah. Right. What's what's the difference between within cultural understanding and cultural integration? So, 
Fur plus owning factor, spreading culture, influence, minus 20 public order due to local presence of foreign culture. Subjugation, oppress just, all, plus 10, oh, and no no backlash whatsoever. Oh, yeah, because everyone's dead. It doesn't even, no, you don't even lose anything. Okay. No, there's no negative to just subjugation. That is a choice. Oh, minus 50% public order penalties. Okay. So we can be integrating and then we get less public order penalties if there's a different culture in our thing. Culture okay. understanding. Okay, so this one, syncretism is, is like subjugation and inclusion is syncretism. So actually okay. all of them are positive. Okay. I think syncretism is the... I mean, it is it is a very Roman thing to do, right? Oh, you know, trying to syncretize the gods and, and, yeah. and if, if it ain't broken. Oh, right? R.I.P. Oh. Calvinus is gone. Uh, Sittivi terra Lewis, uh, you know, Calvinus. <laughs> Calvinus, uh, un antenato di Italo. Nice. <laughs> Italo Calvino. There we go. I'll just do this. Yeah, exactly, Max. Those negatives to subjugation is a take. It's like, oh, yeah, it's all good. Everyone's happy. I was expecting, like, no, people don't like that. Like, usually there is backlash. Let's um, do this Asian. Oh, yeah. Legio Quarta Rapax. Yeah. <laughs> like that, a raptor legion. Yes, like that. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's get some Gauls and we'll invade Spain once more. It's fine. We got Carthage. It's fine. That's good. That's, That's good. That's what matters. Colonia Julia Cartago. Exactly. Exactly. A nice, a very nice place. Criminally under excavated. Um, but you know, considering the political situation. Uh, that... There is good news, nevertheless, mm -hmm. because they are revamping the UNESCO site at the mm. Acropolis. Finally. And they just uh, they just announced the, the winners of the international competition. The architects Ooh. are going to rechange the whole Birsa Ooh. Hill. That would be great. And the museum and the archaeological management of the site, which is going to be probably very beautiful. Oh, I love that. Two years' time, but it's, it's something... Yeah. Very much to be looking forward. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if o sorry, okay. Um, <laughs> if only, was... if only we still had, we still had, you know, the the harbor with the rounds, you know, the rounds. Oh, it's very. You know, it's still, it's still very visible. If yeah. you go on Google Earth, you actually Ooh, still see the. Let me see. You can still see the the layout of the circular and also part of the rectangular harbor. Let and me see. Uh, let me see. It's actually very cool. Very very cool. Okay. And I know a lot about this because <laughs> I was part of the competition. We didn't win. So we were oh. a team of architects uh, uh, ah. in Egypt and we tried to submit a project. So we had to do all the background study of the city and stuff. Oh, I like that. I love that. Okay. So are you so... going to invade uh, the Ptolemaic kingdom of Egypt? Or? Uh, yeah. Um... Yes. Well, that's still. I'm trying, I'm trying to see if I can, I can, I can just open up my WeChat, and I can get unlimited movement, and we can just kind of steamroll into. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it'll actually work. Give me one second. Oh wow! Yes. Oh my God! You can see it on on Google Maps. This is incredible. Ah, you saw it. <laughs> can yes. you share like a a screen or something? Uh, or let's see. Let's see if this link works. Let's see. Unlimited soldier movement is F7. Okay. I mean, it says Punic Ports of Carthage and National Institute of Marine Sciences and Technologies Museum. Uh, Restaurant Le Punic, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes. Punic, Punic, Ports of, yeah, Punic Ports of Carthage. I think if you share this link. Yeah, I, I put it on the... Um, whoa. I shared a link on to Google Maps. I don't know if it's going to if it's going to open exactly. Where, oh no, yeah, it will. Yeah, you just need to you need to like zoom in more in and use like the. Uh, uh, it's loading. Uh, let me check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's very well. No, it's yeah. Very good oh, thing. that's so cool. That is so cool. <laughs> yeah. It would also, yeah, it could also be an interesting live ancient places view from Google Maps. The problem is that, like, we would see no ancient places in Italy because everything has been, like, either built over or they're, like, you know, um, or they're in the open air, to be fair. Like, uh, if you, in the site where I work in the summer, you can see it from, from, from Google, like, in Google Maps because the um, the archaeological site is well cleaned and, and maintained. That's actually a very it's, good uh, idea, huh? Ancient yeah. places from... Yeah, no, we're... we're, we're oh, there's the pirates. 
Oh, well. How would I you mean, like to deal with the sea vermin? <laughs> I mean, is there any is there any question to the fact that we're going to kill all of them? <laughs> Pirate hunting, there we go. Right. Oh! Oh, baby! We have a ca- Lucius Julius Imperiosus. Imperiosus. Oh, wow. Imperiosus. Oh. Imperiosus. <laughs> They're really laying it on thick. Oh, um, wow. Okay. He's, the guy is nanny crazy. Uh, does, does he already have, like, a little breath on his little fluffy head? Like, in I that image? I don't want to eat Garum. <laughs> yeah. No! Oh, look at him. He's just... Oh, he is, uh, well... <laughs> He's yeah. got all right stats for a baby. The that's baby's true. got good Imperium. That's good. Well, that's why it's Imperiosus. Also, yeah, he's blonde, yeah, yeah. and his mother has red hair. So probably the fa- the father might have been blonde. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. Who knows? The, we should have unlimited movement now. Oh, that's Let me see good. If my cheats work. Is it because we had a child? Ah, oh, Shiza, Berate. <laughs> unlimited soldier movement. Unlimited agent movement. You can uh, you can increase the movement by selecting uh, this one stance. Oh yeah, the force march or double time and this one. the only problem. Hmm. Huh. Usually it works out. Well, we can just beeline. I'll just end turn like a madman. <laughs> Someone, someone is angrily honking outside of the window. It's not, it's not a goose. It's, it's a, a, a person. Honestly, I'm just surprised it's not me because usually this street is very active. Oh yeah, it, it, it happens. Okay, clients defer Lemuria. Oh, oh, Lemuria, like the, the celebrations. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Lepidus okay. is having some problems keeping his clients in check. Maybe he shouldn't have just declared Maybe should war have on cli- me. Maybe he should have clients. Maybe <laughs> their clients, his clients should be our clients, you know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let's go. We are beeline in it. Usually, hmm, that's so weird that these cheats, usually the cheats are pretty solid on maybe God mode. Hmm, no attrition, limited Asian movement. Yeah. Huh. Oh, well, I'll just keep hitting intern. We just oh, keep well. accumulating an insane amount of money. I mean, are we going to complain? Absolutely not. No, no, no. Although Pompey's doing some stuff. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I can. Uh, game settings. Off. There we go. That'll speed things up. Okay. I I don't think I even see I don't think I've even see Cleopatra on the map yet. I don't think I'm able to interact with her. Oh, Oh, there's a great fire somewhere. Oh well. Oh, she's gonna be there, right? Right? Somehow. She should be. Oh, there we go. There's my little. Oh, there we go. Now it's kicking in. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to Alexandria. Let's keep. Oh, she has a. Oh whoa. Oh, there she is, right there. Oh. Whoa, she's wearing that. That oh, is a wow. choice. Wow, she's wearing a whole ass no, full shirt. <laughs> is Look she depicted her. on the? Yeah, there she is on the map. Also, she gets her own little uh, custom thing. Fantastic. So the the crown that she's wearing is is a very like Egyptian inspired uh, mm-hmm. crown yeah. for a queen. So like when in um, what is it? God? Uh, no, it's um. Oh my God! The new, the new Ten Commandments, the, the Ten Commandments shit with with um with uh with everyone. Everyone was white. What was it? Now I'm thinking Gods of Egypt, but it's not. <laughs> it's like ah, oh, with with Christian Bale and and oh. the fucking Australian playing Ramesses. You know, <laughs> it's a movie. It's a movie, and they have Ramesses the Second wearing a vulture crown in battle. Ah. Instead of instead of the the blue war crown, uh, and it's it's bad. No, it's not gods of Egypt. It's something worse than that. Uh, is it gods of Egypt? <laughs> something worse than that. <laughs> yeah, and some of them are well. Yes, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. We, we have the giants. This is the you know that. Okay. Oh wow, um, they're they're really going over there. Is it okay? That's great. Yeah, some some are giants. Also that. Um, but to be fair, having divine figures being giant is not wrong for egyptian art it's just everything else is wrong so are you besieging alexander what are you doing so, so should we, should we, yeah should we go to alexander or should we try to catch cleopatra wherever she is i, I lost her where is she it was uh, exodus god and kings 
the movie that I was, that I was referring to. It's elephants. bad. It's bad. Oh, uh, elephants. Oh, in, oh, in Siwa. oh, elephants. Yeah. Oh, the, the boys. In you, can, you can pick uh, as your general if you're in the Egypt section. You can ah, pick yes, an elephant. Yes. Oh, my God. African war elephants. Did they know that they sucked? I mean, no offense <laughs> to the boys. I'm sure they were doing their best, but. Oh, need them. Where is Cle where did Cleopatra go? She was there in in Paritonium and Marsa Matrua. Yeah, I, I just saw her. Maybe she's back in Alexandria. We'll see. I'll use my limited movement to just send. Yeah, she couldn't have gone that far unless maybe the unlimited movement also maybe goes she to the also AI. Has, yeah, she also <laughs> has a limited movement. She could just be in Rome right now, and I wouldn't know about it. Oh, look, Jerusalem! <laughs> oh, wow. Well, yeah, now, now the next one, oh, um, Cleopatra is besieging Rome with elephants. And we're like, well, oh, then. Yeah, she's there. Yeah, she's there. No, I know. No, I the, think it's just some general. Diplomatic. Just some, yeah. uh, some random general that they have over there. Let's see so, here. Let me construct some. Okay. So originally, the siege of, of Alexandria had two forces. Octavian actually coming from the east and Cornelius Gallus coming from the west. So you came from the West, like Cornelius Gallus, who eventually would be mm. the first. Uh, uh, Prefectus Aegypti. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, was, for wasn't, for not, wasn't, not very long time, because he's a very ambitious yeah. man. Wasn't <laughs> Egypt like a personal property of the emperor, so he could, no, he could appoint that's not, whoever the that's fuck not, he wanted? That's okay. not. That's a, that's a misconception. Good. He, uh, the army was the army of the Roman uh, Republic. Mm -hmm. The money went into the treasury mm -hmm. of uh, the Roman Republic. It's just that the uh, the choice of the governor uh, resided with the uh, princeps uh, taken from the uh, equites. So okay. he has this power of selecting who's going to be the governor. Well, it is uh, an important it's an important province, although it is not the grain, the grain the silo important. of the Mediterranean. Uh, you know that now Egypt is importing wheat. This is very sad. <laughs> These days, this the, the war in uh, Ukraine is affecting uh, the, the cost of bread. Uh, but you know, it, 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 it was still a very important exporter uh, mm -hmm. for, for Rome and for, especially for the city of Rome. And then eventually for Constantinople as well. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the city. Well, there oh, are attempts. Oh my God! Let's let's talk now. about let's talk about this plan. Let's talk about this right, plan. There is all there is all uh, me and Kate talking about. Uh, yes, it's it's always <laughs> this, at the ancient Alexandria. There's a whole ass. We can, if we can uh, no. You start, oh, yeah, if you can just go around. Oh, yeah, we can look at it. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ah. It's, okay. It's, yeah. Okay. So. This obviously is the famous uh, lighthouse, 110 meters with the tritons. With the tritons! Oh my God! Yeah, that's that's relatively accurate. You had these tritons uh, blowing horns in case of um, uh, fog. Of course, the, the the whole purpose of the tower is uh, fire and light, with uh, probably mirrors. But these ones are actually supposed to be blown. There probably was a mechanism that would make a sound to guide the ships into the harbor. I can't get to the, oh, well, I can't get to the top. And this is the, so the island of Pharos would have had a temple of Isis that doesn't look like this there. I don't, like, yeah, I don't see anything. Uh, <laughs> random, random single obelisk that would not be the case, not yet, not until the Romans <laughs> arrive. So the architecture in Egypt was always, even in the Ptolemaic period, always to have two obelisks. Yeah. Let's you skip the Epta Stadion. Show us the, the bridge connecting the island of Florence. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. the that's the bridge that would have been yeah, 70 stadia long. Uh, connecting the island with the rest of the city. I guess the large temple is the Serapeum. Mm -hmm. This one, it, the one on the right. Oh, the one more on the right. Yeah, 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 that one. I up a little bit. This probably is the Serapeum temple, so the main temple of the city. In the Acropolis, mm -hmm. with uh, two obelisks, with the Parthenon frieze, I can yeah. tell you that much. <laughs> yeah. 
that's the part that don't freeze. Probably not Doric either. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, they, they took the Parthenon and just and just made it into the. You know something that had two obelisks in front that looked very much like this was the uh, the Caesarium, the Temple to Caesar. It's the first Roman building erected in Alexander right after this battle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And that Eduardo is going to win for us. So, so then we can build. The very interesting thing is that if you look at the city, is uh, all on uh, according to the Hippodamian city planning, it's uh, a grid of streets intersecting at 90 degrees angles with the main uh, east west uh, axis and the main uh, north south, which is still, still the imprint of the city today. If you walk around in the center of Alexandria, you have this. Um, and um, the interesting thing that you see in the game is that the city is mainly a Greek city, as it is in, in as it was in reality. But you do have a couple of ancient Egyptian style temples. I saw I saw a whole ass temple with like piles. We have we have, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. have Roman we have Roman coins that show mm -hmm. us that the Temple of Isis in Alexandria was probably in the ancient Egyptian traditional mm -hmm. formal style with the pylon yeah. towers and stuff yeah. like that. There is, there's also the whole it's thing. It's a much, much where... smaller city in this game than, than yeah, any other. Yeah, that is. Small there is also the, the whole the whole thing goes, oh, where was Cleopatra when she died? Because mm -hmm. was she like in the Temple of Isis? Was she in her palace? Because the way it is described, to me, it looks like a temple pylon. Because like, oh, they opened the window up there and then they pull, they pull down like, but isn't it supposed to be the, the the crypt or the tomb of the of the kings, the Ptolemaic? Uh... Um, when she's doing where she's doing her last stand is like they're they're pulling Anthony who is dying up to bring him to her, and the door is barred, but there are windows upstairs, which is why I was thinking that sounds like a pylon, right? That doesn't sound like a palace. That sounds like a pylon to me. And what? there are people who have said, oh, maybe she was in the Temple of Isis, and they just said that it was a palace, but it was actually the Temple of Isis in on the well, other that's, side. That's a so. common misconception. Of right? To call, uh, to call yeah, to call a temple a temple, palace. Yeah, a palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is it is important. Like, and there were like stairs going into into the the temple pylons. Like, if you've you've never done that, you can do that. Um, there is also, a question that is fire. <laughs> okay, I mean, <laughs> you can take it. tomb. Do we know where she is? Uh, I think she was building one. She had one. There was the royal. She must have been building one, right? The royal tombs of the Ptolemies were uh, still existing uh, a few a few years later. And there is also the famous uh, <clears throat> Alexander um, tomb visited by Octavian in mm -hmm. this occasion. He enters the city. He goes straight to see the, the tomb of Alexander, and then they ask him if he wants <laughs> to see the tombs of the of the other. Ptolemies, and he says, I came to see a king and not corpses. Yeah, <laughs> so, I came to see a god and not, not yeah. these bitches, right? And it's then, uh, and then, uh, um, it's, it's the, it's the Ptolemaic, yeah, it's the Ptolemaic this, police. Is, I, let me say something because I really I want to say this. Yeah, say it, <laughs> say it. The, uh, I think that the the tomb of Cleopatra is outside of uh, Alexandria in this. Uh, a uh, place called Abu Sir, now in Arabic mm -hmm. is called Borg al Arab, where there is a, a very vast uh, stone Ptolemaic temple. I think by the time of Ptolemy II, Ptolemy III, temple to Osiris. And there is this uh, Dominican archaeologist, not really an archaeologist, to be fair. She's a lawyer, and has, I think, yeah, she has some degree maybe in, in archaeology, but she's not mm -hmm. really an archaeologist. And she's been working there for a while. Every season, oh, I know is, exactly who you're talking about. Yes, and she's been trumpeting this. Uh, this time, we find the tomb of Cleopatra, and she's obviously aided by the other <coughs> famous Egyptian archaeologist with the hat, who's yeah. always there whenever. And the linen and the linen shirts, and 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 it's not your wife; it's a male. <laughs> <laughs> right. Whenever there is uh, some publicity to be gained, he is in, in it. So every now and then they say, "Ah, oh, we're very close to finding the tomb of Cleopatra. I'm very fine, close to finding the tomb of Cleopatra. There's no basis that she's buried there. So there's absolutely nothing. Yeah. Yeah. That tells um, us she was probably buried in the Ptolemy Ptolemaic uh, family tomb in within the city that now probably <clears throat> is under the sea because that should be that part of the city that eventually uh, sank mm -hmm. with the earthquake." Uh, so the, I think the 
I know who is honking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's the you know it's yeah. uh, it's just uh, uh -huh. yeah. Every every week is either uh, I'm one week from discovering the tomb of Cleopatra, and then the next week I'm one week from discovering the tomb of Nefertiti, and then I yeah. oh, it's always. I mean, I thought I thought for I thought that to find mm -hmm. Nefertiti, we had to look inside of Tutankhamun's tomb. So yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, I, don't thought you know. I thought I, I thought we had to drill. Anyways, um, or maybe we already have her. Maybe she's the young lady. The interesting thing is the tomb of Alexander, because in Alexandria there is this amazing mosque mm -hmm. called the Mosque of Nabi Daniel or the Prophet Daniel, which is mm -hmm. not the Prophet Daniel of the Bible. Mm. Uh, is a Daniel um, holy man? that came from Tunisia or Morocco, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And he's buried in Alexandria in this mosque. But this mosque is built on... <laughs> yeah, <I'm> not... <laughs> your namesake, you not know, your I'm namesake. Still, I'm... <laughs> and there's a, and there is a, there is an under, there is a crypt. There is at a certain mm. point in the mosque, there is actually uh, a shaft going down and uh, a set of uh, underground passages. And uh, there is this uh, urban myth that it's the, the tomb of Alexander. Because it is more or less on the main uh, uh, north-south axis. And uh, yeah, there is a chance that it... Mm. There is this very, 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 very beautiful book. Uh, I uh, Maybe, Kate, I can send you the link on somewhere else. And then you Please. post it by Anthony Sutton, who is an amazing writer uh, and journalist. And he wrote this book about the Pharaoh's shadow. That's the title. Send it. Um, I will. I will. I will read it I'll in the chat. Link, and it's one of the most beautiful books. Uh, I read about Egypt and the continuity of ancient things into contemporary Egypt, and uh, also ethnography and stuff like that. And I really, really wholeheartedly recommend it. It's a great reading. Uh, there is a whole it, chapter in the, in the private chat. Yeah. Ah, I, I, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, I really, really recommend it. It's, uh, and there is a chapter on the tomb of Alexander. He goes in the mosque of Nabi Daniel. And uh, Ooh, let's see. Let's the go. other thing, the other thing is that the body of Alexander is actually the body of Saint Mark. Of course, of <laughs> in, course. That, who in else? The Venice, in the Venice uh, Basilica of Saint Mark, uh, and that the Venetians came to steal San Mark. As a matter of fact, they stole the body of Alexander that had been mixed up in the I mean, listen, sometimes, sometimes you gotta you gotta steal a body, right? Doesn't matter whose body. I have to get back to Venice with something. So just give me a mummified body. Uh, so the size yeah, well, is victory. In the meanwhile, we won. Yeah, no, no, no. It was they, for some reason the AI like the. They had all their skirmishers outside of Alexandria. The, I don't know if you were watching, but some very bold choices were made by both the AI and me. But I'm hoping okay. that we can do this real quick. Mm -hmm. Occupy that. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Military tradition, so we gained some traditions. And then... Cleopatra, yeah. That's... Oh, wow. Are we going to well, meet her? On yeah. the battlefield, yeah, let's go. Oh, she's in a chariot. Let's... And we managed to, for some reason, we managed to ambush her, even though we're in... we're very much in the open the terrain way. that is not conducive to. <laughs> we'll take it. Maybe she was looking to the, you know, she was looking to the other side. She was looking the wrong way, and uh, then we're like, oh, surprise, yeah, like, ma'am. Don't forget, after you capture Alexandria, now you have to kill Ptolemy 15 Caesar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, true. you gotta kill Caesarea. I don't think, gotta, I don't think they have an option, although here is Cleo. You need to Patra. dispose. Okay. Oh, wow. What is she wearing? Oh. It's a uh, Amazon sexy armor. Yeah, it's a sexy Amazonian armor. I'm trying to zoom in more, but it does that thing where you, if you zoom yeah, in, you, go, you zoom through her. Yeah. The, oh the, my God. The horse. Try to go on the side. Let's see, from here? Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. Where that's a very that? Amazonian, non-Egyptian. And feathers, blue feathers. Yeah, blue Earth. feathers. The feathers yeah. would have been on the horses. And the skirt, short skirt. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you got you got a running battle, right? You need a short skirt. I'm all in favor of you know, short skirts everywhere. Um, but yeah. With, Here's your um, one favorite. Probably. I mean, if she <laughs> wanted to be in battle. 
she might have what what kind of crown would she have worn at this point in time if she wanted to go to battle were they still wearing the blue crown would no. she have worn would have she gone into battle herself? i think uh, i think because majority of the army was greek greek people right they would have worn something greek to you know for the morale right. and uh, wouldn't dress up like a pharaoh anymore that's fair that's fair i don't I mean, think anyone has worn any blue crown from the right. time of unable the second probably probably maybe, maybe it was good it was bad luck they probably even lost the, the the ability to do it the technology or something fair fair oh maybe she would she would have worn her hair with like the the diadem like like alexander or like the blues <laughs> please well check the chart <laughs> yeah something. cleopatra it's the fashion police stop <laughs> yeah that's 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 what the sirens were it's the fashion there's police. also something about the apostle uh, saint james Oh my God! What are the bones of the apostle Saint James thrown out to be a donkey's? <laughs> okay, so on that on that note, uh, my hometown allegedly um, went to uh, Turkey to get the bones of uh, Saint Nicholas, right? Saint Nicola. Um, wow. But the people from Bari arrived there first, and so they got Saint Nicola and brought him back to Bari, and now he is their protector. So the people of I think it was Tarsus told the Genovese, well. But wait, we have the ashes of St. John the Baptist and you can take them home for this modest price. And we'll also add, you know, the basin, the emerald basin in which Jesus washed everyone's feet during the Last Supper. So they came back with ashes, which are now housed in a golden replica of the Genova Cathedral. And this, <laughs> this giant basin made of green glass which is not emerald in which of course jesus washed everyone's feet um yeah. during the last supper it was a, it was a bargain like let me it is you. accurate yeah, really. yeah absolute bargain so yeah we, we could have like a whole stream of wacky ancient medieval relics being or like like when when what was it was it charles the bald who went to went to the near east and he came back with mary's veil like <laughs> actually mary's veil not everyone not anyone else's not just a random veil the veil that had been on Mary's head just because she only had one, right? It's, it's that, that's how things work. Um, so yeah, uh, you get to milk money from pilgrims, no? So you need to show them something, <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> they won't come to your church. <laughs> no, exactly. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get, I mean, shilling, right? An old, an, an old tradition. <laughs> Swing I, I work the I work not work I volunteered for a time in the parish church of my village which is now now like 1000 people in the province of Bergamo in the mountains and this village until like 150 years ago was like 250 people so it was really unremarkable and and, and miserable and we have a list of relics from all sorts of saints and people. Incredible. You have no idea, no less than 20. <laughs> no, I mean, Saint, everyone. And Francis everyone. himself. Oh, wait. We, we killed. Got, yeah, we killed. I, got, I got some bad news. From the Holy Cross, a piece <gasps> of wood from the Holy Cross. And there are some chicken bones that are reportedly belonging to Pius V. I mean, of course. Michael of Lepanto, uh, Pope. Cool. Oh yes, yes. Oh yeah, the one, the one who got a who got a Skypey call from Mary the very morning of we the battle, telling him we won. <laughs> we just massacred Cleopatra. Did we kill Cleopatra? Oh, it was a it was a shower of Pila. Oh my uh, god! <laughs> oh my god! Killed by Pila. We killed. Was, was the corpse of Cleopatra? Yeah, I want to see the body. Yeah, exactly. Jeez, you know, you know the rules. Jeez. If you don't see uh, the body, I had her. I had her. The well discussion was going on on i think she's there the, i think she's there um, that guy's really stoked about it like, <laughs> yeah. let's uh, go um we killed, we killed Liz taylor before old age got her or old age and alcoholism um, no, they lost her. Her. Lost so, the what's her name oh the uh, horse oh the the one the netflix one yes oh, oh she's right there a horse fell on her Oh, oh, yikes. Oh, I hope she was already. Yeah, there she's that. right there. A horse that's not a good way to go. That's not that's that's some Theo than shit. I, I don't Theo than shit. I don't. That's, he seems that's pretty happy, though. Adela James. Mm. Adela James. OK, listen. I'm not going to complain. That's, you know, a beautiful woman playing. Yeah, like Cleopatra. Absolutely. yeah, yeah. 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 This is probably the last of the problems of that series. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, listen, give me give me a, a, a good looking Cleopatra any day. 
Um, mm. And that's that's what the pharaohs would have wanted, right? They always made themselves look more beautiful in in art. So why not? Why wouldn't we do that? Um, I mean, this I don't. Is beautiful. What is this? this is all Octavian propaganda. Yeah, exactly. We're drinking. We're art. drinking the Roman Kool Aid. Maybe she <laughs> was beautiful, and I mean, surely yeah. she was. You know, she was. She was Definitely smart. Fascinated and all of that. So. We, and you know, you know, you know, obviously, well, for the audience, but the, the audience know quite a lot, so it's just you know, that we, Cleopatra is one of the few rulers of the ancient world about whom we have the handwriting. Uh, there is this uh, uh, papyrus in Germany, in Berlin, uh, oh. has a um, decree in Greek for, uh, I think it's uh, trade uh, privileges to a Roman merchant. And then she, it's written by the hand of the people of the chancery. And she writes, Ginesto, uh, make, make it happen, make it good. So, which, is, which is one of our lines in Assassin's Creed Origins yeah. that she says in you Greek. See, you see my brother, Ginesto. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> like, whoops, it happens, it happens. Yeah. Um, there's also a great book out now called Cleopatra's Daughter. Um, which is ah, yeah. all about i read it it's it's a great really, book yeah. yeah which is all about the the um, one of the one of the three children that she had with, with mark Anthony. she had That's a couple of twins we should actually speak about that because we should talk we about that no against it's... mark Anthony. No? exactly they had three children but i only remember uh, they uh, had three they had the the twins and then a baby boy yeah, what is cleopatra selene and mm -hmm. uh, alexandra Helios. and the third one was a ptolemy um, and he, this Ptolemy, and he, I think, disappeared quite early. No? Yeah, he was. He was, he went he to was Rome, teeny. Huh? Yeah, they, they. So they, they all got brought. To, so when Cleopatra was defeated, uh, and Anthony committed suicide, and she also committed suicide, um, the uh, Octavian disposed of Caesarion because there could only be one young Caesar, and then they took um, the three, like they were like the. I think the twins were around eight, and the small one might, might have been like four, like mm. a teeny. Um, to Rome, actually, to be raised in Octavian's family, um, because they could not outright kill them because they were the children of Antony, and you know it was not it was not a nice thing. They were still technically kind of related or anything else. So the boy is a certain point disappear. We'd like to believe that maybe they just had unremarkable lives and didn't do shit. Probably they were killed. Um, the daughter was actually married off to another royal hostage who was Juba II, an actual nerd, uh, who was the king, the the son of the previous king of Mauritania, which is uh, Morocco, modern-day Morocco. Um, Algeria and yeah. Morocco. Yeah, Algeria and Morocco. And they just, they made this, this match and they sent them to rule over Mauritania. Um, and it seems to have been like an okay marriage. Uh, <laughs> You know, they, yeah, they had children. There is the, the dynasty goes on. Yeah, exactly. They had children. The dynasty goes and on. He and he builds uh, this amazing tomb for themselves. This uh, follows circular. They did. That they is inspired did. by. It's inspired by the mausoleum of Augustus. In mm -hmm, Rome. Mm -hmm. He saw it. He saw Augustus building it. Yeah, then, exactly. It was like, aha, we want to do that. They did like it. They did. They did really good things in Mauritania. Um, mm. And it is. And, was like, and he was also um, very interested in geography. So he actually sent an expedition to the Canary Islands um, to check if, you know, if what, what people were, were telling about them, because there was the thing of like the, the islands of the blessed and everything else was true, um, because the Carthaginians were actually going there um, to, you know, to do their own things and blah, blah, blah. Um, his description, uh, we don't have his description of the islands, but we have Pliny's description of um and and probably and probably one of his sources was juba the second's report so that's that's interesting um and yeah so he was he was a giant nerd uh also not a bad looking guy if the portrait <laughs> if the portrait is to be believed like you know and they were like not too far apart in age which is so like all things considered she probably got the best deal out of what could have happened to her as a prisoner so cleopatra wins as a yeah, so Cleopatra wins. Yeah, actually, there is the the, the strong chance that uh, Julia Domna was a descendant of Cleopatra Selene. Ah. <laughs> there is a strong chance that she was. So, you know, it's possible, it's possible. So that, that this thing continued like well into the third century. So Julia Domna is... Uh, uh, Julia Domna is uh, the Severan dynasty, no? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where yeah. do they come from? Aren't they uh, Syrians? They're Syrians. Yeah. 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 So, they come from Syria. If we had to a Netflix series, <laughs> is she? <laughs> <laughs> Cleopatra Selene is half a uh, half Egyptian, Egyptian, half yeah. Uh, Roman. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Mm, mm. oh no. This is just no, it's, it's it's that's the reality, no? Yeah, it's, no, it is. It's more complicated than uh, black and white. Yeah, that's absolutely, it. absolutely. Um, what are we? Who are we killing now? <laughs> just going around. There is a comment. This campaign of Eduardo is worth raising popular history in Eastern Mediterranean. Do you remember <laughs> the time the army passed by here? <laughs> I don't know. Eh? Where are they going? Zoom. They're zooming Where are you, away. Actually? There you go. The, That's the army. This is, this is, if you could not tell, this is the amazing city of Pergamon. Ah, yeah. Where, where's the Acropolis? <laughs> yeah, where's the Acropolis? Oh, that's... <laughs> what the fuck is going on there? Pergamon... To be determined. Would... Looks like Priene, actually. No? Okay. I, Priene. I was thinking that, that it looks like Priene. Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, so... Pergamon has an Acropolis that is so steep that if you're yes. in the theater and, and you stumble, they're going to find you at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> they <laughs> so collect they, you with a spoon afterwards. Exactly. <laughs> they're going to pick you up with a spoon. It's, it's really, really steep. Um, and Pergamon is also where we have, you know, the giant uh, altar that is now in Berlin. Uh, which the the Titan the Gigantomachy and then the the um, the freeze of Telephus inside, um, and it was made by my beloved Eumenes uh, II after one of his victories against the Galatians. So the Gauls again, we hate the Gauls. Great um, art, great art, fantastic, incredible relief. Um, there was actually a great exhibition in Berlin um, a few years ago in which you could enter basically like a, a cylinder. And you would have a 363 degree view of ancient Pergamon at the time of like Hadrian, for whatever reason, all around you, like if like as if you were there. It was fantastic. It was a great thing. Um, let me see if I can find images of Pergamon because this this ain't it. This is Priene, if we have to. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Ancient what Pergamon. what led you to attack Pergamon? Uh, I just wanted to see Anthony. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, he's, I that he's inside. Movement. Is in yeah, the city? He, he should be. I think my line of sight isn't giving me. I think he. They always station the commander in the middle here, mm-hmm. but because there's fog of war in this one, you can't really see him. Oh wait, no, that's just the center flag. I'll see him in a second once I take the walls. Let's see if I can find a good image of the citadel. The citadel was um okay. There's it's an image of a model. Of the citadel so not the best but it will it will give you an idea of like how steep everything is it's like on top like the acropolis is on top of a hill and then there's like a few kilometers and then the the city for like the poor um yeah yeah i've i've also seen it in berlin uh there are there are pictures of me flailing and explaining things to people that were clear they were not my friends but people were still listening so that's good uh but yeah we love pergamon also pergamon born of someone running away with the booty which we love um we we stand let's see uh, oh it's a, a plenty of enemies in there huh? yeah, yeah. We had a yeah. Size yeah. Of this, oh fun. because anthony's there so we gotta you know yeah, we killed we, one we, now we gotta kill the other one i think I, I think we should be able to see i think this is the general no this is tarantine cavalry famous for being jerks and skirmishers <laughs> Even in antiquity. Well, yes. Yes, yes. Tarentum. <laughs> Tarentum in southern Italy had a long tradition of being a city of assholes. Um, <laughs> and, and very angry. When the Romans sent ambassadors there, they not only made fun of the ambassadors for their terrible Greek accent, uh, but they also peed on their ships um, oh. and throw shit at them. Yeah, they were, not, they were not taking that. They were like, yeah, we, don't, we really don't like you. We really, really hate you. Like, fuck off. Um, they were also the ones who called, who called Pyrrhus. Um, so, you know, they were not nice people, but it was in their right to not be nice people to the Romans. Um, after yeah, all, they, I, I think they're good, forgiven, given how history turned out. They had can, been there for stand. far longer, right? Yeah. Tarento was also a Spartan colony, um, which is a rarity in, in, in the Mediterranean, because Sparta usually would not send. But for that one, they sent someone, and there is a tradition that says that they sent the bastards like a whole generation of bastards that were born of spartan women and um and like non-citizens because they had needed this generation to you know to refill the ranks of the army but then when actual 
Spartan children and boys are like, we, we got we to gotta do something with the Spartanians. So we got to let, let, let's send them, you know, to found, to found a, an apoikia away um, from home. And the Oracle told them, yeah, 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 go, go there and, and bother the Yapijan, which were the, the, local, the local indigenous people. Uh, so they did. Um, but, yeah, you know, I mean, as, as one does, um, Tarento is a great site. There is no way of digging under the city because it's all built up. So there's literally no way to dig in there. But it, it has some of the most beautiful, beautiful Hellenistic jewelry that you'll ever find. And a great tradition of terracotta figurines, which is how I know all this shit about Tarentum. Because I wrote my, uh, my Egyptian archaeology thesis on um, uh, Greek figurines, Greek terracotta figurines in Tarentum and in Naucratis. So it was, it was, it was a project at the ah, time. Ah, Naucratis. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, Naucratis they is had, They had things in common? Uh, yeah. Yes, well, actually. You know, Prati says a lot of his Tarentum was in the cities that, uh, the, that were involved in the foundation of Naucratis? Or? No, it wasn't. No, 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 it wasn't. But like they, they were, there were like similarities in like how the, um, how the things were, were made. They're like, well, because they were Greek figurines, right? Um, so they, they had like, and they had like some, well, they had mostly like the, the big, um, the big common, common thing of being like harbors. Like of being oh, big, well. big harbors, big emporia of like people coming and going, um, and having a long tradition of like making terracotta figurines for for reasons that are like, you know, I'm making very fancy ones. Um, <laughs> if you if you look at the ones for the artists, you're like, oh, they really they really had a taste for these things. Um, <laughs> some are uh, definitely not PG thirteen. Um, some are some are better, um, and some are absolutely Hellenistic. Like they have they have a whole series of of drunken satyrs with these giant skins uh, full of white and they're absolutely out of it. So it's, yeah, 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 they got, they got those. And some of them are in Cairo, actually, because there's no museum yeah. in Naucratis. Yeah, of course, there's nothing. I mean, there's, there's also no city in Naucratis. It's under a fucking lake. Anyway, nothing in <laughs> it's under a lake. And, and it's, and where it's is not... Mark Anthony? This is the question. Exactly. I'm, I'm looking for like, him. Uh, are you? Think, uh, the chicken. <laughs> exactly. Come out. Come out. Show your countenance. You think he'd be probably dressed up like an Oriental queen or something like that. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Mark Anthony was uh, was very sure of himself. So much so that he he and Cleopatra he, uh, put up like colossal statues um, on the Acropolis of Athens, um, and then there was a terrible omen because during a storm they came down. So they fell down, and so people were like, clearly, you know, this is an element, but it's, it's all bullshit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, also, I mean, the Acropolis is deep. St stuff, stuff falls down, um, <laughs> pretty much all the time, right? But, but you gotta, you gotta have omens when something, something horrible is about to happen. Um, oh, I got shameful display. Oh, where is? Where, Where is, is their he? general? Jeez, yeah. he should be in the front line. <laughs> Perhaps not, we could not. we could pull like a like a um how do you call it uh, a Brad Pitt and go like Anthony. <laughs> Anthony! But, uh, to be fair, I think Anthony would beat the ever living shit out of uh, Augustus in a one to one. Oh, oh, he would deck Augustus. I, I would. Oh my god, I would pay money. God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, Anthony was like the the ideal, you know, weir of the of the late republic. He was he was big and big and strong and like Herculean and masculine and Oh, oh there he is. Okay. Making babies let me, everywhere. Let me, let me pause it oh, that's he uh, in Italian we have the expression to be a Marco Antonio. It means uh, to be a very beautiful, handsome, strong yeah. man. <laughs> big, big, thick man, exactly. Is. Which is there not is. the case here. Marco yeah. Antonio. And the thickness. They, he's pretty. Yeah. They didn't thick. give him. Yeah, they didn't give him a lot though. Yeah. Well, that is sad. He's not, he's not doing anything. He's just there waiting. No, he's, he's just, just about sitting. to die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that sounds sounds you know sounds like Mark Antony to me. Um, <laughs> yeah. True. Um, I mean, he went. You know, he went the way he would have wanted to go in battle. Being a less. coward in the middle of the city. Being a coward in the middle of the city. Well, no, he went in this. He went. He went. <laughs> you know, the way he would have wanted to go in real he life. Was he... he was a lamb being slaughtered. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh man, God bless cheats. We we oh. basically we basically resolve the entire uh, Roman civil war. 
Or or 57 BC, huh? BC. Yeah. So 60 years. No, we're, we're early. We're early. Six years before. Yeah, we're yeah. early. So probably the twins have not had not been born yet, I guess. Oh, <laughs> let's see. I've got let's see. Little let's see. Alexandria note. Uh, everything no, she was she not... was born in forty, so no, she would have been, would have been. But the other one would not have been would have been born. So I don't understand why that's they the, give them. Yeah, there are elephants in the delta, which is very weird. <laughs> the elephant in the room. Yeah, but is the uh, the pyramids and the lighthouse giving you any perk like in the old game? Uh, well, I can capture them right now with my amazing ability my amazing octavian <laughs> powers Let's see here i don't think so because oh no road has the colossus but does the mm -hmm. does it give you bonuses is a good question i've never actually come on actually the, the library or the a lighthouse should be giving me a bonus because it did in the first game didn't it Yes, it did. Yes. I don't. Yes, it did. I don't think so, though. Oh, that is sad. Do we have? Do, how many pyramids do we have here? That is. Do that's the, the question. If you look at. If you look to the. Uh, oh, we got three. Okay. No, wait a moment. If you click on the province and look on the left. Uh, I. Where? Yeah. It gives you the. Oh, the, there it is. Oh, there, there you right. go. There you go. The Pharos of Alexander. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Minus height. And plus then, twenty. Plus twenty. Oh. Not bad. Not bad. Getting Memphis, yeah. yeah. I mean, you gotta, you gotta get the the white walls it's of Memphis. Finish off everything else. Any remnant of the Ptolemaic scum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's really so, good, actually. Five per, minus five percent construction cost, faction wide, and plus five wealth from culture. I don't, I don't hate that. Yeah. So, Daniela, do you think do you think that the the Frank Godio expedition will find the the tombs of the Ptolemies if they keep going underwater and doing the Why things? Not? Why hmm? not? I mean, well, the discoveries of the uh, in uh, what they found about the lighthouse, for example, is quite stick. quite impressive in terms yeah. of uh, architecture and statues and stela. Really amazing. Yeah, so yeah, and yeah. we had no idea any of that existed before. Oh uh, man, if only, if only. I, mean, I really a, hope. It's a very beautiful city. It deserves to have. Mm -hmm. It has been, it has been, it has been suffering a while in the last uh, 10, 15 years. Uh, that, you know, the city is a very interesting story. Alexandria had been since the, the foundation and down well into the Islamic period, the, the city in that part of the world. I mean, mm -hmm. it continued this amazing tradition of culture from Hellenistic to Roman to Christian Byzantine period. And then in Egypt, something happens is that the, uh, the branch of the Nile that used to go to Canopus, which is mm -hmm. now uh, 14 kilometers east of Alexandria, is, is, an, is a part of Alexandria already, mm -hmm. uh, silted up, so there was no water. And there was no communication between Alexandria and the rest of Egypt, unless you take a donkey <laughs> or, or a camel, and that's not easy. Or you take another ship or another boat, you go to the closest land, which is the Rashid one or the Rosetta one. And so from the ninth century onwards, it's Rashid, the most important port city in Egypt, because it connects uh, Cairo, well, later Cairo and, and, uh, and the sea. And so Alexandria shrinks to a town, a few thousand inhabitants. So the, the old uh, city we saw before in the battle is just abandoned and they pillage it for, uh, for spolia, for columns, for marble, for all sorts of things, porphyry. And the city only shrinks in the area of the bridge we saw, the Heptastadion. That's in the Ottoman period. And it only revives in the 19th century when uh, the Pasha of Egypt builds a canal connecting the Nile with the city again and then it becomes up apparent that the city is the best harbor naturally in Egypt so it takes back the rolling ahead before uh, the silting up of the Nile and the city is reconstructed so all the uh, grid of 90 degrees streets in the center are is still followed, but they build all very nice late 19th century, early 20th century buildings, and which is the Alexandria, the modern contemporary Alexandria, until 
as I was saying in the beginning of this <laughs> very long parenthesis, is that they started demolishing those buildings. Oh. And now, now the city is a very sad city. All these high skyscraper, very ugly buildings. Anyway. <clears throat> so it's it's just the the ghost of the city it was. It, it has this very interesting cycle of going up and down, up and down. Now it's the down part. <laughs> <laughs> it's no longer very beautiful. So it deserves me to have a discovery coming up. Where are you now? Sorry, you just keep. Oh talking. no, I no, I just picked this one. I forget what city this is. Uh, <laughs> Any city. I know. Yeah, I just wanted to show off the elephant because I don't think uh, we've seen them on the battle map. I'm using my. I like how this guy has a shield. Very. But yeah, I just want to show off the elephants. I will do this quick. Because right now, Octavian is just steamrolling. Finding her tomb, what can tell us that we don't already know? <laughs> uh, well, it depends what we find in the tomb. Yeah. You never know what was buried with her. And if the body is still there somehow, I mean, probably completely... I mean... <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. For, unfortunately, or if it's, if it's underwater. Even, even if there is any, so you know, you never know. Yeah. It would be interesting. Any, anything would help. Anything would help. But it really yeah. depends on... Uh, I mean, the, the tombs of the, of the kings in, uh, in Macedonia are amazing. You know, yeah. The discovery of all these tombs and the, uh, the jewelry and the, so on. Yeah. Anything closer to that... Uh, from the point of view of architecture, because we don't have any, we don't know how the tombs of the Ptolemies are. There is one tomb in Alexandria that is very interestingly now surrounded by the Christian Catholic cemetery of Alexandria, but it mm. is an ancient one. It's called the Alabaster tomb, because we only have the chamber, the burial chamber, which is a rectangle made of Egyptian alabaster. And we imagine because of the size of it and parts of the sculpture, and that it used to be a Tholos circular kind of Macedonian tomb. So that might have been a, a royal tomb, something Ooh. like that. Yeah. But no inscriptions. Yeah. Very, very high status uh, uh, person buried there. Some people at the beginning even identified it as the tomb of Alexander because it is really exceptional. But it's, it's just very, very small uh, what is left of it. So if it is anything close to that, but it would give us any information about how these tombs look like, and what materials and what kind of decoration and whatever was buried with her if she survived any time. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Gives us also more information about the topography of the city. How yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if if we find like if she was buried with the other Ptolemies, then we would have like a lot more tombs than just hers. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, and also like the like the you were talking about like the, the Macedonian the Macedonian royal tombs, but like an Egyptian royal tomb would have a lot of writing. Would have shit on the walls, would have stuff, would have things. <laughs> so the, the we 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 would be able to find a lot more info. Um and also I mean maybe she was buried with someone. Um, you know, so we we don't know. I mean we're like the other, the other, the said, the said thing for like other other tombs, like Tutankhamun's tombs. We know from his tomb that um, he was buried with his two stillborn uh, daughters. So, and and those are not recorded like in in history or like in in writing anywhere else. But we found the, the tiny bodies. So that's also something that could happen, right? Also, um, also, if the tomb was pillaged, like for example, the pyramid of Lahun, still being back in ancient Egypt. So, Hellenistic wise, in Egypt we don't have anything. There's no royalty. Except this alabaster tomb, but the the pyramid of uh, Senusera the first in uh, second in Lahul, pillaged and excavated, and there's nothing to find. And then the archaeologists found the cobra, the golden cobra yeah. that was pinned on the forehead of the king. So yeah, yeah. So there's always there's always something, right? Yeah, I mean, in, in one in object Nefer is the object. One. Well, I mean, in the Fertari's tomb, mm -hmm. they found like a few amulets, uh, like a ring, and uh, oh yeah, part of her legs. Uh, so it's like not a lot, but enough, right? Enough, enough to make to make hypotheses and like and talk about you know what what else what else could have been there. Um, but yeah, it's uh, but so not not a, not a stupid question. Like, and we we all you know. No, not at all. Yeah, it's it's always exciting. Like when when people can we 
uh, can can find new tombs. Um, with that, I think that we are oh same minds. Uh, I think we are at the two hour mark. Um, so I think and we've conquered you know <laughs> to everybody. A <laughs> lot. Yeah, we were, we were like we were here talking and making conversation. Eduardo was like pummeling people. Um, you know, killing them. So that no, works. I, we showed off the the custom models for everybody by killing them. Oh yeah, by killing them. That's that's yeah, yeah, you know yeah. that is that is the uh, that's the spirit of the Total War series. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So um, so thank you, chat, uh, for being active and for showing up and for asking the, the, the all the questions and for making jokes. Um, thank you, Eduardo, for, for controlling you know the troops and killing Agrippa and then very, killing very badly, else. but by the time the cheats kicked oh. in, I was on like auto. Oh, you know what? Yeah, no, doing... honestly, like next week we're also using using cheats. See, uh, thank were, you, Daniele, for joining us from, from the land of the Ptolemies. Always um, a pleasure, yeah. <laughs> Um, next week we will finish uh, the the first part of the summer season. This this year we're gonna go on a little more for the summer uh, than usual. Not me. I'll be on the field. I'll be digging, uh, but other people will be. We're going on, um, and we will finish this series with Attila Total War. So we will be going into like the you know the late antique period we will discuss why we probably should not call it late antique um we will we will talk about the sassanid and we will talk about why do we need to administer these provinces that are so far east and everything else um and we will do that with uh with daniele with alex who will be back and with christian rollinger so who has written like yeah yeah a big ass book on on uh history of video games um, yeah, so we will be here, same time, same place, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and now everyone go and enjoy the weekend. Um, if you can avoid killing Agrippa, you know, getting Agrippa killed, it would be nice. Um, check out the reading recommendations that we sent in the chat, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Ciao.